This week, we're testing three of the best modern muscle cars on sale today. The Shelby GT500, the Polestar 1, and the BMW M8 Competition. Now, we spent the last few days driving these things hard around the track and comparing them on the road as well. If you want to check out that video, click on the pop-out banner in the corner. And if you want to read the full story on MotorOne.com, see the link in the description. But right now, it's time for a drag race. So joining me on this test are two Motor1.com senior editors, Brett Evans and Jeff Perez. Guys, we have a beautiful quarter mile drag strip in front of us and three very expensive cars. So rather than get in a huge accident and go three wide, I think what we should do is have you two race first and then the winner races me in the BMW. Because we think the BMW is the fastest, at least on paper. So that makes sense. We think, I mean, this has a secret though. So I don't want to spoil it, but you'll see. The Mustang has a secret. We're going to let that go first then. The Polestar 1 versus the GT500 and winner will race the M8 competition. Before we line them up, here are the performance details on the cars. The Shelby GT500 uses a 5.2 liter supercharged V8, making 760 horsepower and 625 pound-feet of torque. It uses a Tremec 7-speed dual-clutch transmission and a rear-wheel drive setup. The Mustang weighs 4,225 pounds. The Polestar 1 packs a 2-liter turbocharged and supercharged four-cylinder engine, along with two rear axle motors and a 34-kilowatt-hour battery. Total system output is 619 horsepower and 737 pound-feet of torque. It uses an all-wheel drive setup and it weighs 5,170 pounds. The BMW M8 Competition features a 4.4-liter twin-turbocharged V8, making 617 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. This pairs with an 8-speed automatic transmission and an all-wheel drive setup. It weighs 4,295 pounds. The Polestar 1 stands a pretty decent chance of doing well in this drag race. Not only does it have the most torque of any vehicle in this test with 738 pound-feet, it also routes all of that torque to all four wheels, giving this thing lots of grip. And since a lot of that is coming from electric motors, it's going to make all of that right off the line. Thing is, on paper, the Shelby has the most horsepower, 760, which is about 120 more than the Polestar. It also has a little secret called drag mode, which the other two cars do not. So all you need to do is tick this toggle right here, and it'll take you to drag strip mode. And all you do is set the launch control, press this little button on the steering wheel, track apps, launch control, and then you set your RPM. I'm gonna put it at about 3000, which should be good. Then you just smash the brake, smash the gas, and it should rocket off the line assuming the tires hold, which may or may not happen. So, so we'll see. All right, get your launch controls ready. Three, two, one, go. I wish you could feel how hard that thing launched. That was incredible. It came out of the hole so hard. The Mustang was in my rear view mirror and then probably about three quarters of the way down the track, he came on with a vengeance and had me pass by the finish line. That was so much fun. Welcome to the inside of a very fast BMW. And it's a BMW that's very fast in a straight line as well. Uh, I just saw that race just like you did, and the Mustang did better than I thought it was going to. When that car hooks up, it is lights out, and that amount of horsepower is nothing to mess around with. But the BMW does have all-wheel drive, it does have proper launch control as well, and it does a really good job sending power to the right places. Now I'm in full track mode right now with everything set to track and the traction control is now ready to party as well. And after that, 
Just foot on the gas, lift off the brake, and hopefully we win this thing. Ready when you are. So we beat the Polestar uh, by about half a car. It's pretty good. We got the tires to lock up pretty easily, I guess. Uh, so that was good. This is going to be a little trickier though against the BMW because that car is about two tenths of a second quicker than this, even though that doesn't sound like a lot. Uh, it makes a big difference and that has a really good launch control system. So that thing's just going to rock it off the line. The key here is that I really have to get the tires down on the pavement. I have to get a lot of good grip early uh, if I want to have a chance. So. We'll see. Launch control is active. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it got, oh, it went fast. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. 130 across the quarter mile. It decimated the Mustang decimated the Mustang. Oh man, <laughs> that was so fast in the beginning. I didn't really know what to say. Oof. Tires just want to spin the whole time. And you can yell at me in the comments if you think I don't know how to drive. Looked really good from here. That was about as perfect as it's gonna get. And the GT500 hooked up pretty well. Yeah, it did. It still spun, but it was as good as it's gonna get. I mean, it did so well around the track earlier, but in a straight line, it just made a Shelby GT500 totally eat it in a quarter mile. It then became apparent that my gloating was not well received. And the only way Jeff and the Mustang felt like making the situation right was with one final race, a rolling start from 20 miles per hour. And as it turned out, this was easily the best race of the day. Three, two, one, go. 17, 18, 19, 20, gun it. Ooh, this is closer. I didn't dust him. Ooh. Did I get him? I couldn't tell. I think I got you by like a little bit. No! Rolling races are for losers and everybody knows that. It's literally like a foot. Really? Yeah. Redemption for the Mustang, at least partially. Even with launch control and drag strip mode, the Shelby struggled to get a perfect launch from a dead stop. In the race against the Polestar, the Swedish supercar absolutely surged off the line, putting all of that 737 pound-feet of torque to great use. But as the speeds grew higher and the traction got better, it was the Mustang that claimed victory. However, the Shelby's tenacity was not enough to outgun the M8 competition, proving that horsepower is not necessarily the most important key to winning a drag race. Modern BMW M cars are as fast as they've ever been, and that's largely thanks to all-wheel drive with brilliant launch control. You leave everything to the computers, and the M8 was the fastest car here, time and time again, making it our drag race winner. To see how the BMW stacked up against the Mustang and the Polestar and the rest of our testing, head over to MotorOne.com or see the links in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.